In the center of Kentucky, we found the heart of America. We found a group of friends who embraced the timeless traditions of this land, handing down to each generation their love of God, country, family, and friends. Bonds that are fortified with days spent in the field, hunting, fishing, laughing, and living life to its fullest. Join us for the journey into the center of the Heartland Heritage. Friday before our uh, Saturday opening day turkey season. Every year I love getting it when we all get together down to the farm and have and have our annual fish fry. We had, had walleye this year that a lot of guys had caught and brought down and had that all going. If I get in the habit of eating something when I like it, I eat it till it makes me sick. <laughs> Boy, that's good, I tell you. <laughs> All your stuff worked out like you got your, is that your life? Yep. <laughs> and we had we had something special that day too. We we brought out the uh, the Heartland Heritage race car number forty four. about that car is it gets to show like showcase everybody that helped us out along. Well it gets to showcase me too because I'm the only one that fits in it that can drive it. Hey but old Bernie got <laughs> a hat, a hat so we can call in. That's right. That's right. That car is awesome though. That looks great. Wasn't it louder before? You know, I, Jim introduced me to you, Bernie, and it's 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 been two years of utter chaos, really. Every time we go down to Fin and Feather Farm, I mean, it's it's always it's always something new. It's always fun. I mean, it, we all get together, we all get along very well, and all of us hang out and have that camaraderie together, and it's just a great time down there at your place. You know, really, only twice a year, turkey beginning of turkey season, beginning of deer season, do does everybody get together? You know, busy schedules and everything else, and it's just always a good time to get everybody to sweet, you know. Good food, fresh oh, yeah. stories. What are you doing? Oh, you got an actual door. No. no. Yeah, we got the door for us on the roof. That makes it a little easier. Yeah. Can I do, so, can I take a run like a hard time to get out of here? <laughs> Look at that. I still can move a little bit, Mitchell. Like straight on in. Basket, Slide in. Slide in, just like that. Ow. In 2016, the eve of turkey season, we're here with John Sanders and Matt Mitchell from Treason, and we are here for the unveiling of this awesome race car. It is patterned with Treason camouflage, got all of our great sponsors on it, people that take care of us from day to day, and we're just totally blessed to be here. Glad you all can make it, and uh, we appreciate everything you all doing for us, and uh, this right here is beautiful. You want to tell us a little bit about how this all started? About how the pattern started, or just the idea? Uh, honestly, went in, you know, I'm a camo lover. I've got every pattern, you know, that you can have in my closet at home, but I just became dissatisfied with what was available and uh, just walked out of a department store one day and decided I was going to make my own. It was just that simple. And I figured if I could come up with something that I like, then maybe someone else would like it too. And, uh, you know, here you are with our late season brown pattern. and, and uh, I think it's awesome. I'm I hope you all approve of it. Oh, we do. Uh, the car looks spectacular, uh, you know, with all the sponsors and, and ev giving everyone notoriety that uh, do you guys well. But, uh, you know, you guys are doing everyone else well doing that. Um, I can't imagine or I couldn't have imagined anything like this and just a, a race car. So if you turn around and this thing's gone, coming <laughs> home with it. Well, that sounds great. Well, we greatly appreciate you guys being here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for letting us uh, Thank you, be a part of your guys' team. You, Let's go eat some fish. Let's do it. 
you hungry? Let's go get some fish. Yeah, the cool thing about turkey hunting and deer hunting and what we get to do is you know we get to have some young guys sometimes get out there and we're behind the camera and you know young tanner was out there and it was youth season i was that young one time you could just relive your your time when the kids get to just something special when the kids get to shoot that first deer or first turkey or just watching the kid how excited the excited they get i mean it's i have that to look forward to i got a seven-year-old and a four-year-old and, I'm and i have the experience it with my own son too it ended it is a blast it's never forget. special moments right there i'm telling you you'll never forget yeah, I'm telling you. you'll never forget Himself because all the jakes came in, they kind of rushed in, and they were just kind of fighting, bickering how you know young young turkeys do. And then all of a sudden, I guess they finally realized, oh, there's a decoy over there. Well, they, oh, there's some, there's old Missy over there. <laughs> you know, sometimes in the turkey woods, you get everything seems like it's going perfect. And, you know, when the two jakes were coming in, they got a little bit, they got a little bit sketchy and a little bit nervous, and they started getting a little bit, you know, tanner. Tanner knew what time it was. And... He wasn't that nervous. And then birds weren't nervous no more either. <laughs> <laughs> Go get him. Jump up. Go get him. Me, Daniel, and Blake got in early finally this year 
went in, saw uh, turkeys roosting, decided to sit down right there, and flew down. It took forever for them to come shooting range. Finally did, and they almost got away, but I shot them in time. What a feeling that is to witness a young kid uh, shooting his first bird, shooting, getting his first animal, whatever it is. I mean, I, we both experienced it already. You're getting ready to experience it, you know, with our own children and our own guys and our own kids. And, and it's, it just, you, when you, you can feel pull it. a turkey, you've done something. Right. It's hard to believe something with a brain the size of a pea can outsmart you, though, ain't it? It did that to you quite a bit, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Closed captioning is brought to you by Bailey's Car Wash. Fennet Feather Farm is one of the finest plots of land in northern Kentucky as far as I'm concerned for, for wildlife. I've never, if you go there and you don't see a deer or a turkey, you're sleeping. You know, and All day. The way it is, it's, we got these top fields and ridges and obviously the turkeys are all over that place. I mean, that's, it's like, I don't know what it is, like Nebraska. There. It's 25 or 30 at a, at a time. I they mean, they come out and they, they run, just, just check. When you, get the, when you get that right bird and he's all, in, he's all fired up, and they come out of that woods, you know, it's hard to, it's, it gotta, it's just hard to explain. You know, sometimes it just don't go the way you got it in your head that it's supposed to go. You know, I strike a call and they, they start hammering. Sometimes they just don't read the script.
We're gonna get right around that knoll a little bit and find some real good spot where we can find them, watch them come in. Just gotta get in thinking we're leaving because we drive one more time. So we couldn't get them birds to commit, not one bit. And uh, you know, striking the call, you know, one time I'm on the bird, cameraman's on the wrong bird. Sometimes you just can't can't get on it. And it just don't work out the way we want to. You can't trying to find out what bird or whatever you're trying to get on and which one? I can't shoot with you right there. Alright, it is uh, April twenty-sixth. I'm here with uh, Jim Wilson. First time turkey hunting. I'm pretty uh, pretty excited about that. Haven't uh, been turkey hunting before. Well, the sun's getting ready to come up. We got gobblers all over the place. Should turn out to be a pretty good morning. First of all, happy birthday, Jim Wilson. Man, we are froze to death, but we got it done this morning. It's a little colder than we thought it was gonna be. It's about 39 degrees. And man, what a bird. He come running about uh, 200 yards away, just gobbling his brains out. He came right up the fence line. I put the showstopper on him. JW gets it done. He shows me how to get it done. It's my first time turkey hunting. Man, what a bird. What a time. Got about a 12 inch beard on him, about an inch and a quarter spurs. He is a good bird, man. I am thrilled to death. Happy birthday to my friend Jim Wilson. Thanks for bringing me out here today to his family's farm. This is an awesome, awesome day. Right now, I just can't wait to get warmed up. I wish I had a roll my lawn down. But this is awesome, man. Happy birthday to my friend. This is great.
This segment is brought to you by Burlington Family Chiropractic. All right. We just got to the stand here, the setup. It's on a power line. We've got east, northeast winds. These birds usually come out around dusk. They've been coming in from the right to the left down the swale here in this power line. The last time I sat here, I bet I saw 12, maybe 13 times. All just one after another coming down through here. So we had a long walk. We said we'd get here by five, but that was about 15 minutes off. It's about quarter till five. We're gonna get up in here, do some calling. See if we can get Mr. Tom here down on the ground. Let's get it done. breeze blowing through here it feels good considering it's 80 degrees outside we're gonna sit tight hopefully we can throw some lead out these windows and uh, get us a bird on the ground we'll see what happens Smoke, dude. <laughs> 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 so you know that first hunt didn't work out too well for me, but after we got up in that condo, Johnny was up there making those calls with his mouth. He's good at it too. And uh, man, what a good feeling to finally get that bird down on the ground and get it over with and get that monkey off my back. It was, it was a good one. He was a good bird. Opening day, 2016, turkey season. Heartland Heritage getting it done on the first day. Man, this is great. I got her done with a shotgun today. Next step is archery. I want to get one of these suckers with, a, with my bow and uh, call it a day. This is awesome, man. He came out of nowhere. It was great. Great job, John Butel. Did a good job on the camera there. Couldn't be happier opening day. Getting it done, Heartland Heritage Outdoors. April 21st, it's windy out today. It's the fourth day of uh, spring season in Kentucky. We're actually here on an evening hunt on my family farm. Um, we're gonna try to give, a, give it a shot again today. Um, like I said, I normally don't like to hunt turkeys in the evening, but it's awfully windy. We're gonna give it a try. Um, stay tuned with us. Here with my friend, Darren Kerfoot, he's gonna help me out here today and we'll see what happens.
hands calm down. We've seen six hens tonight. About 7.15. Hopefully we're looking for a big old gobbler to come here and set up for the night. We're gonna hang tough here. It looked like he's getting ready to rain, but now it's kind of cleared up. We're gonna wait and see what happens and uh, set this one out and uh, hopefully get one on the ground. Well, folks, here's what it was. We saw six hens this afternoon. Looked like it's going to blow us out of the woods tonight. We went through a little rain shower. It was absolutely gorgeous. Kind of losing a little bit of hope there all of a sudden. Uh, Darren says, here's, th here's two uh, long beards. All of a sudden, here comes the third one. We let them come in. They got locked in on a decoy in there. They came in. I'd say probably between 55, 60 yards. It came in a little bit more. And uh, Darren called him in just a little bit more and I uh, I put the Benelli to it and uh, knocked him dead in his tracks. Didn't get it on, uh, it was out of, out of the screen a little bit. Darren actually hopped up and was able to kill the other long beard. Two beautiful Kentucky gobblers here. We're very proud to have it. I'm sure glad Darren could be here and enjoy it with me. This is what it's all about, folks. Get outside, enjoy, enjoy the outdoors. Take a child out there, you can get a kid, just grab one and get out there and show them what it's all about. I had that turkey on my back, carried it to the truck, going down to <laughs> Fin and Feather Farm, knowing that you get to go down and be with friends and just at a great place. It's just a great place to be, great friends and family. And I love it, and I can't wait till the next trip. I got the pretty one. <laughs> Look at that. Did you get that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this, this is mine. This has got the big old blue head on it. Oh, this, oh. I got a bigger beard. Look at that. Good day. All right. Pretty birds right here. Getting it done in uh, 2016 at Feather Farm. Open the day. <laughs> <laughs> Woo!